guys welcome back to my channel this video is concerning online banking options within this coronavirus outbreak now a lot of people do not know their online banking options and also what online banking can do for them which is crazy a lot of people surprisingly don't like online banking especially in this time online banking is extremely important I just want to share a little bit of my backstory concerning the reason why I'm telling you about this. Not only that I actually work in banking right now, um, on the 26th of March, I was diagnosed with a viral syndrome. It was really bad. Um, the day before, I actually went to the clinic because I thought everything was fine with me. The, the night before, I was coughing up blood. Blood was coming from my nose. I couldn't really like say a full sentence without coughing which was crazy because everything was fine i was fine when the next day i went to clinic which was the 26th of march and they diagnosed me with the viral syndrome because i was coming out with the fever i had all the symptoms so they told me i have to stay home and i could only go back to work if i show um, no symptoms for 24 to 72 hours now they gave me seven days i took three weeks because I was not playing. I had to make sure I was drinking my lemon water and doing all the natural remedies and also taking a lot of vitamins and medication to make sure that I was 100% better. Now I am and I'm back to work because when I started back work, I was, I was shocked to see the amount of people coming in for simple transactions that could be done online. So this is just a video just to help people so let's get into it now the first thing is online banking online banking is your best friend basically self-servicing your account so you are your, your own banker and your own teller full responsibility concerning anything pertaining to your account is on you which is great because it's full power depending on someone to do something for you you're doing it for yourself it's your money why wouldn't you want to be in charge of what's going on with your money every single bank the online banking process is basically the same and also the information that is required when you're signing up is basically the same with online banking you could view your balances you could do transfers between your accounts from savings to checkings and also using Zelle which is a great option to send money to someone like a friend or a family member that needs help or needs some cash you also manage alerts on your account you can pay bills online you could also open your accounts whether it be a brokerage account an investment account or it could be a new savings or checkings you can also see your credit score and you could also manage your credit cards as well which is do payments you can set up automatic payments so you will not forget especially in this time you could also be your statements add beneficiaries you could do a lot with your account for your online banking you can control of your account of your cash and especially in this time a lot of people uh, try to do scams have people out there that would try to cash a fake check against your account try to impersonate withdraw cash from your account and you would not know until you wait a month to get your statement instead of checking your account fairly frequently just to make sure that everything is going well or to manage alerts where you can see the withdrawals that are coming out of your account so if you did not do a withdrawal you could catch it quicker that's a great advantage of online banking where you can see what's going on in real time with your account instead of waiting for a statement at the end of the month or beginning of the month or whenever your statement cycle is to see what's going on and then after you'll be too late you have to do a whole case and you have to do an investigation and everything instead of catching it right there then so the next thing is debit cards now with online banking as well just to add you could also manage your debit cards which is order a new debit card or you can cancel or freeze a debit card which is basically locking the card so if you don't want to use it or you lost your card you can lock the card so no one can use it if someone found it and try to withdraw cash from your account or use it to make purchases online Debit cards are your best friend right now in this pandemic instead of going to a teller to withdraw cash with your id or debit card you could also just withdraw it from any atm put in the card withdraw the cash and just use it or you can make purchases online with it or you can go to the store and make purchases with your debit card instead of using cash because cash at this point in time i would not suggest that anybody to even be walking around with it because cash is so it carries so much bacteria and germs it's like why would you you have to take extra precaution you have to wear gloves when you're handling the cash it's just better just to use a debit card it's much safer just to use a debit card customer service 
So, customer service is your best friend. Customer service concerning any questions that you would need answered, concerning your account, even if you don't want to use online banking to order a debit card, you could call and they could mail one to your house. You would need help concerning a transaction um, that is on your mobile banking. Call customer service if you don't know how to put in a claim on your online banking. Call customer service and they can assist you. Your account is with another bank and you have a credit card, say with TD, and your account is with Capital One. You could set it up externally to pay it online or you could call to pay it over the phone with your with your account information you have much safer options out there for you to practice especially in this time because it's really dangerous to even be outside especially when you could do certain simple banking transactions for yourself that would take like literally two seconds instead of taking a whole hour just to get ready go travel down if you don't have a car to a bank to pay your credit card versus when you could just do it over the phone and be done with it. You know, you need help with your online banking, you don't feel comfortable doing certain things online, you could call and have them do it for you, which is always a, a good option. These top three options are for you to internalize, take in, and also sign up and practice. Please, 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 please get online banking. That's like the number one thing. If you don't want to use customer service because you don't want to wait on the phone, which is understandable because I'm sure like their call backlog is like crazy. Use online banking. It's just, it's just the best way. You could always do it, done, and that's it. So that's all. It's a short video. Let me know what you think about the video. Put it in the comments below. If you need any help or assistance with it, you can reach out to me and I can help you. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good night, guys.